Bonjour. Euh, Aujourd'hui, nous, euh, nous, nous allons faire les présentations en anglais. Uh, so today, we are happy to present uh, Horiba Company and our cutting edge technologies for measurement, analysis, and uh, control of hydrogen-related related activities. So here today, um, my, my name is Maria Lubimova. I'm hydrogen business developer. And my name is Guillaume Kessler. I'm product um, uh, pro product manager for hydrogen products. Sorry. So let's start uh, from the beginning. Um, so yeah, um, we will start by a short introduction of the Horiba company. Um, then we will present more into details each step of our activities. So we'll start by R&D on material sales and stack, manufacturing and line quality control, gas and water analysis, uh, testing uh, benches for engine and engineering and consultancies. And we will finish by the end of life recycling and con carbon capture. Uh, so, to, so words about Horiba company, um, it is a multinational company headquartered in Japan, in Kyoto. The company was founded in 1945, uh, sorry, 1945 and uh, today we are about 9,000 9, uh, people all around the world. And uh, for uh, sales we have around 1.7 billion of euros in 2021. As I said, the company is really international, so as you see, we, can, we have different centers of conception and production in Asia, in the Europe, in Americas. Uh, you can see a lot of that in uh, European region as well. Uh, so in France, we have different sites. Uh, we are based in uh, Palaiso, in Parisian, uh, close to Paris. Then a production site in uh, Laos, close to Lille. And uh, from starting from the last year, we have uh, the Hydrogen Excellence Center in Venetia, close to Lyon. Uh, so what we are doing, uh, Horiba, it is all about measurement. So measurement is the heart of our activities. Uh, we master different analysis and technologies such as elemental analysis, pH, chemical concentration, optical, physical, electronic properties, and many others. And with these technologies, we conceive and produce uh, instruments to, pro to, to measure, analyze, and control uh, different steps uh, of, um, of business, uh, of, of value chains. So our core business segments are, are here, and what we find is that with hydrogen, we can uh, find uh, our products, find their application in hydrogen market as well. So to be more precise, uh, let's look uh, at, this, um, at this picture. So we start by uh, that one. So uh, research and development on materials. Here we provide um, he, here we can analyze, uh, starting from the raw materials, for example, powders. We can provide different characterization uh, instrument, instrumentation for uh, components, like, for example, bipolar plates or membranes or gas diffusion layers uh, up to cells and stacks. So here we will say that this uh, research and development laboratory scale. The point two, it will be the same, uh, quite the same analysis, but in industrial scale, where we will instrument the production line to produce, to, to control the quality during the production. Uh, as well, we have different solutions for gas and water analysis, um, solutions for testing to be able to uh, test fuel cell system, powertrain, uh, up to entire vehicles. Uh, the vehicle which are powered by fuel cell or uh, by internal combustion engine. Uh, and uh, so by the end we have end of life recycling which is uh, really important uh, today and we are integrating uh, these solutions to cover uh, these, um, these topics regarding recycling and carbon uh, captured storage. So let's start to talk about uh, the R&D segment. So we have a bench of products which can be used in R&D. So we will be able to um, support industrials, but also laboratories and universities uh, in the development of their products. So all components of fuel cells and stacks, uh, fuel cells and electrolyzers. So we will support them in order to characterize the different components which are part of these systems, going from the qualification of raw materials to post-mortem analysis, 
So as you can see, there are some examples of equipment which can be used for R&D purposes. So um, for example, uh, on the left hand side, you can see some scientific equipment which are produced by Oriba. They are enabling the customer to do some characterization such as particle size analysis or molecular analysis. We also develop test benches, and we will see later on more details about these test benches, which enable to monitor the performance of single cells, but also bigger systems. And in the end, you can use this scientific equipment in order to um, characterize um, the system after operation and to uh, have a global understanding of the behavior in order to help you uh, develop the system. In order to do this characterization, we use multiple techniques which are well known. These techniques are used in our equipment. These are the best seller equipment in hydrogen. So you can find Raman spectrometer, particle size analyzer, micro XRF, spectrofluorometer, Glodishtar spectrometer, and uh, other equipments. If you have any question, we can discuss this later on. So I can give you an example of application of our equipment. So for example, if an industrial wants to develop a process uh, to prepare the um, ink before the deposition, before the coating of different layers, the electrolyte or the catalyst layer, he would like to know what the best um, um, the best way to prepare the ink. So we will try to understand how uh, the catalyst dispersion should be performed. How the catalyst dispersion should be performed. And then he will try to change this process and check the distribution and homogeneity of the solid contact within the liquid phase. So he will check how the process was good or not for the dispersing and ripening process. And he can also, uh, during the process, detect if there are bu some bubbles in the ink or not. So he will, he will measure with our equipment the particle size distribution with such an equipment. In the R&D field, we can also use our test benches, which will enable to give the performance mapping of the fuel cells and electrolyzer, but also we can perform some durability testing with these equipments. So as you can see, you can uh, find many different sizes of equipments because it depends on the size and power of the fuel cell and electrolyzer, electrolyzer which uh, are being um, investigated. This uh, scientific equipment and test benches can be adapted for the production line. So we go from at-line measurement, off-line measurement to in-line and online measurement. So to give you an example, if, you, if we have a look at the membrane electrode assembly process, you have different steps in the process. It's uh, like a rough schematic. And as you can see, Within these different steps, uh, Oriva is capable of supporting industrials in order to understand better the process, in order to optimize the process. And we can use either scientific equipment during the steps or also test benches at the end to uh, qualify the final product and do a, like a feedback loop on the process. So to give you... Um, a clear understanding if we talk about the coating step. With our equipment, we are capable of um, giving to the customer the thickness which has been deposited, but not only the thickness, but also distribution of species. Uh, we can also tell if there were some impurities, which can be interesting, for example, in the MEA manufacturing when you do the coating, because when you deposit the catalyst layer, depending on the speed of the coating, you can have a good or not good distribution of the ionomer and catalyst, and you want a good mixture in order to have the highest active surface area, and we can control this with our equipment. 
on top of that, so on top of these sensors, we are offering a um, data management tool which will gather all information on the production line coming, so going from sensors on the production line like sickness measurements, but also information which were received by the test bench in order to do a feedback loop on the total production line to optimize the production line. Uh, so let's move on to gas and water analysis. Uh, here you can see different products already existing and the ones are in development uh, what we provide for the, uh, for the hydrogen uh, market. Starting from the production uh, to storage, uh, usage and, uh, yeah, and, and, the, and the distribution and utilization. Uh, so in the center you can see the new product uh, from Horiba High Evo. It is in line hydrogen concentration analyzer to, uh, to yeah, so actually it is an example of utilization of this HIVO. As you can see, so we uh, see on the left hand a fuel cell integrated into the uh, test bench and then different equipment like a pH meter, CO2 analyzer and the HIVO. With this uh, structure, with this chain, you, uh, you can evaluate the performance of the fuel cell. And actually, by um, by analyzing the exhaust gas and water, and to find uh, uh, analyze the particles that we can find in exhaust, like CO2 and uh, uh, quantity of hydrogen as well. So hydrogen will uh, tell us the cross leakage uh, of the fuel cell, and so so uh, we'll be able to uh, to evaluate the performance and the durability of the of the fuel cell. Uh, and then. So other uh, equipments are, um, we can imagine some instruments, uh, some sensors in line that can be installed in line, like impurity sensor close to the distribution station to be able to monitor the quality of hydrogen and to uh, identify impurities and to qualify them. Actually, to be sure that we will not continue distribution where it will be, it might be dangerous for fuel cells. Um, Uh, so then solutions for testing here, we provide a broad range of solutions starting from the uh, products for fuel cell test system, like balance of plant, uh, then f uh, for the powertrains, fuel cell powertrain uh, test, uh, test, test systems, and the chassis cell. And uh, here I wanted to present a little bit more our hydrogen center of excellence in Vinicius. So in 2022, we opened uh, this center, uh, which is located uh, close to Lyon. Uh, as you can see, we have a quite big building with technic hall and offices, and the storage area for hydrogen, which, which is located outside. Uh, and we are able to accommodate around uh, 900 of kilos of hydrogen to be able to perform different testing of fuel cells, uh, and uh, not only fuel cells, but to, to perform different analyzers, uh, analysis uh, with hydrogen. Uh, so what exactly we are doing today? Uh, today we have a product which is fuel cell system test bench. Uh, it looks like a, a standard marine shipping container. Um, equipped with different modular trolleys. Uh, so uh, actually the idea is to be able to test the fuel cell and the auxiliaries um, with, uh, in, in their uh, operating conditions. So these uh, trolleys will, be, uh, will reproduce the operating conditions and we can uh, test uh, different, uh, different steps. So with fuel cell, but as well uh, air compressor, heat exchangers, power electronics, Etc. This concept, concept is really uh, interesting because it is movable, and uh, the ATIC zone is uh, uh, is inside, so there is no uh, particular constraints constraints for for the customers. And on the top of that, we have the Stars automation software. Uh, so actually, all sensors are connected, and we are able to program different cycles of testing and model uh, different uh, cycles of uh, yeah fuel cell uh, operation. Uh, so it is about fuel cell, but as well, we are work working on the internal combustion engines. Here you have the line, so it is hydrogen uh, cell, uh, which is located in CRMT, uh, our partner site, and we are testing PP motors. So we can see the motor on the left, uh, on the left side, 
And uh, so this uh, hydrogen cell is equipped with different instruments. So we are able to understand and to qualify the performances of the motor by analyzing the exhaust gas and uh, by testing different uh, operating conditions like accelerations, um, etc., and durability as well. Uh, then engineering and consultancy, uh, here you can see the picture of our uh, entity in England. Uh, here what we provide is, uh, actually we can start from the very beginning by list of duties and cho choice of components, uh, passing by modeling, solution, modeling and simulation, by prototyping up to uh, testing, uh, building of, of prototype, testing of prototype, vehicle testing and homologation of vehicle. So through all uh, this cycle of, of vehicle uh, development, we can, uh, we can be with our clients and provide different testing facilities uh, that can be rent as well in our, in, in our facilities. Thank you. Um, so I will talk about the last chapter of our activity in hydrogen. So it's about end of life recycling and also carbon capture. So within Oriba, we have developed some spectrometer which are capable of identifying materials. We use it in microplastic in order to sort microplastic. We are developing the same technology for hydrogen components to uh, recyc recycle hydrogen components. And about carbon capture utilization and storage, it's something which is also very important for us because we think um, the electrification of society will not be enough to tackle targets for climate and um, carbon capture system will be required to uh, reach the targets and with our competencies in um, gas analysis and so also manufacturing of test benches we, are, we know how to develop and we are al already developing systems in order to characterize carbon capture systems so, for example, you will have a test bench will, which will recreate the exact same condition as uh, the environment around the carbon capture system. And it will, at different points of the um, carbon capture, monitor the concentration of CO2, for example, in order to qualify and characterize the carbon, systems, st carbon storage system. So thank you very much for attending this presentation. Now you know uh, what Oriva is doing. I'm very happy about this. If you're interested to know more, we are exposing uh, over there. So it's Boots uh, D10. And uh, we present on different instruments, a scientific instrument, and as well, Haivo with the internal combustion engine. So Please, if you are interested, visit us there. And maybe you have any questions right now? Okay, well, thank you. <laughs>